As the end of November came to a close, I could slowly see my odds of harvesting a buck in Wisconsin diminishing. For years, we talked about the possibility of venturing south to hunt the late season months. I figured there wasn't a better time than now to make that opportunity happen. Brendan and myself began a mass search on Onyx Maps to locate a track of ground in Oklahoma. After several hours of conducting research, reading up on hunting regulations, articles, and getting denied by countless landowners, we struck gold and were granted permission to hunt a northern Oklahoma farm. We're going to OK? All right, let's do it. Had a little bit of free time here early December and decided to uh, head south. Uh, gonna be down here for a couple days. Um, and basically, we're checking out a new piece of property. Uh, pretty excited about it. And we're hoping we get some good bucks on here worth hunting the next few weeks. Cedar, CRP, ponds. I mean, this this property has everything. Got high late season holds out here. Looky here. Oh, some. Look at that buck. It's a little after nine o'clock right now. Uh, we hit the road early this morning, right around midnight, uh, heading to Oklahoma. I went down here early December, um, <clears throat> right at the end of their gun season and put some culverts out and br been running the cell cams down here for the last two or three weeks and got some pretty solid bucks on, on camera so far. Um, nothing Nothing that really jumps off the radar score-wise, but we got some solid bucks that are that are definitely mature. So decided to buy a tag, and we're on our way down. I slipped in here, been following the camera, the cell cam all morning on the ride down, and uh, two of our shooters, uh, one solid eight-pointer and a big old seven-pointer, have been in and out on the cameras all morning. More like right on the edge of their bedroom, so. Cell cams have been showing a lot of movement all day through here. So I know a lot of these deer aren't far. We're not going to try and make, be too, uh, make too much of a ruckus up here in the tree because I feel like it could happen at any minute today. But me and Dylan are going to be down here for two and a half days and got a couple buck tags and a handful of doe tags in my pocket. So. Get 
something to come in. They're gonna be on pins and needles, I'm sure, so we're gonna have to be on our A game. What's popping at the Regal tonight? We got a smorgasbord of Benny, Benny supplies, venison hot dogs, venison and venison accessories, and we got venison cheesy queso dip. Always travels well. And when you're west of the Missouri River, you drink Coors. Ah. What's on the tube tonight? Uh, this is Limitless, excellent film.
มาฮะมาฮะฉันรู้สึกว่าทุกคนที่ทำงานกับการที่จะรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่ค่อยพูดถึงการรักษาสัตว์ในแบบต่างๆแต่แม้ว่าจะเป็นสิ่งที่ไม่I will constructively analyze the situation, picking apart my flaws and what I need to improve upon. After I've identified my mistakes, it's time to take action. And lastly, after all that is done, the best cure is just to get back out there. We just got to Oklahoma here about an hour ago, and we are hauling to get into the tree. It's just a little bit before two o'clock here. Really hoping we can connect on one here um, next couple days. So, well, after three, would have liked to have been in here a little sooner, but just with the weather and everything today, uh, running a little bit behind. We had to hang the cameraman set here, and also.
Stopped up there. Looks like a bed up there. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> this is one of the first bucks that we actually had cam camera pictures of when we started checking this property out. And uh, he was very regular beginning of December, end of the rut down here. <clears throat> and the last few weeks, he's just been hit or miss on the cameras. And we just got lucky last night that he came through when he did. I mean, super early, about four o'clock. It worked out pretty awesome, but we're gonna get this deer drug out of here. And uh, we got one more to find here, so. Second doe, just recovered her. Um, she was only 15, 20 yards from where we marked blood last night, but we are gonna get her tag now, get them both out of here, and get, uh, get everything loaded up, and head back home, so that's an end to my uh, whitetail season here. Um, started out rough and uh, kind of ended out on top, so I'm pretty fortunate to have a full freezer of venison now through the next year. This week on TBP, you've tuned in for a good one. Mike and I head to Oklahoma. Sticky D and Magic Mike head to Oklahoma <laughs> to chase big. You're not magic, Mike. Post rot white tails. <laughs> Me and Bonger are calling you Dirty Mike. My Dirty Mike. It's Dirty Mike and the boys. I don't know what that is. The other guys? What's? Do not say what is the other guys. Do not finish that sentence.